was reading a book that was sent to me by uh, a friend in England. It was uh, written by Rashad Field. It was called, it was part of a trilogy, and it was the middle book of a trilogy. It was called To Know We Are Loved. And I was reading that book, and um, I came across uh, about four lines that just intrigued me so much. I was reading them over and over and over again. And this is what they said. I made it the display quote for this book. It said, <clears throat> he's, he was talking to someone who was uh, very close to dying. And he said, uh, if we stop for a moment, it is possible to perceive a pattern in our lives. The motivators that have influenced us become much more obvious. We are able to see life unfolding from both ends at once, coming into the present moment. But until we get to a certain point of realization, this is not possible, because everything is still seen as a series of apparent causes and effects. That you have to be able to get to a place in your life where you can step back and realize that there are really two kinds of time. One of the kinds of time is what I call horizontal time, or cause and effect time, or the science is called chronos time, chronological time. This happens, and then this happens, and this causes this, and this is the cause and effect. And we have a tendency in our lives, as we look at all of the things that happen to us in our lives, to believe that um, everything has a cause and effect relationship. And so the reason that I am here today is because of all the things that I have done, all the choices that I have made, and they have led me to this place. But then there's another kind of time. And this is a kind of time that is called eternal time. And this is a, a line that doesn't go horizontal, it goes vertical. It goes straight up to our source of being, to the place that we come from. And this line is um, a kind of time that um, is deathless and is birthless and is eternal and it is always there. And when you get to a place in your life where you cross that line, when you see the place where horizontal time and vertical time cross, you have this realization that me, this personal me, this ego of mine, is not the thing that's making all of the choices. That there's something else that is involved. I called my publisher and I said to him, uh, I want to step back. I want to step back from my life because I know that there have been forces or powers or, or some kind of energy that has been impacting me throughout my entire life. And I've been able to step back. And as it says in this quotation, it's so important to realize that it isn't, everything isn't just coming from the past. There are things that are coming from the future as well, that we're all, always pulling out. It's like, I just uh, talked to uh, someone who has a little, a little baby. A um, little baby's just a few months old. And I said, do you realize that the little baby's wisdom teeth are already there? They're not going to come out of the past. They're already there. We're going to pull them out of the future. They're not going to show up for another 20 years or so. And that there are going to be choices to be made at that, at that time. What do you do with them? Do you leave them in? Do you cut them out? All kinds of things. But there is this sense that not only is there a chronological cause and effect time taking place, but there's this eternal time in which everything about, for example, our entire physical being has already been handled for us. You know, it's like what your height is going to be and what the color of your skin is going to be, what the color of your eyes are going to be, and uh, when your hair is going to fall out. Uh, I know the experience very well. Um, <laughs> So what I decided to do was to take a look at um, what were the circumstances and the people and the events and the things that kept showing up in my life, going all the way back to the time that I was just a little baby, all the way up to just recently at the age of 73, which is the age I am now as we record this show. Something took a hold of me and said, write this. And I wrote and I wrote and I wrote just uh, because there was something that was pulling me in the direction of uh, this is something that I absolutely had to do. And I started to realize that 
That's really the story of my entire life. And it's the story of all the rest of our lives as well. There's almost an awareness that there are no wrong roads to anywhere. That there's no accidents. That as we go along, there are course corrections that we can make. That every experience that we have in our life is, uh, is there to teach us something. It's a very, very powerful awareness that yes, I'm making choices, but I'm also making choices within a context of everything is already laid out for me as well. I have to live with those two opposite points of view, if you will. And there are moments that come along in your life when you realize, yes, I'm making choices, but oh my God, there's also something else that is pulling me in this direction and is asking me to do that. And it's true of every single one of us, every single one of you that are watching. It's something that each and every one of us have. And every once in a while, you'll hit that quantum moment when your chronological time and your vertical line cross and you realize, I have a choice to make. And you can either make that choice to follow and take that divine guidance that's come along and to look up at that, that, that eternal plan. I just call it the eternal plan.